Buenos dias, muchachos y muchachas. Today we are out for an, we are for an adventure. It's going to be amazing. We're going to go hunt for this pyramid in the jungle here in Mexico. It's called Calakmul. The other one next door is from the rival city, Tikal, from back in the days. Tikal over there on the right is today located in what we know as Guatemala and Calakmul is here in the very south of Mexico. Calakmul is one of the biggest uh, pyramids actually in the world that's still standing. Bigger than, uh, my, bigger than most of the pyramids in Giza in Egypt. It's between 45 and 50 meters uh, tall and there are some even bigger ones in this area as well that is not in this city but is over on the Guatemalan side all right so we found the first residential area here seems to be quite the structure here to be honest look at that all the way through over there till around here with the big tree in the middle. Impressive. Very cool. That is already a nice sight. Let's go and see what's over here. Let's go and see. So yeah. As I say, the fights in this area seems to have been some nasty, nasty fights. Doesn't seem to be more here. Just really a little storage area or something. As you see here, old. But to think, to think that this dates back to 600 years before before Christ is it's impressive it said to finished um, they finished the construction completely somewhere around 200 uh, years after Christ so it took them a seriously long time to build this but it's a massive 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 place well, it's a big area. There's up to 120 structures that we know of today uh, in this in this area here. So, so yo, yeah, I am very very excited to go ahead and see what we can find today. Like that pyramid looks amazing, and we're going to be able to climb it. So I cannot wait. Let's get stuck in. That's enough rambling for now, I think. As we walk through this little footpath. All right. So here we go. The first bit of structures here. They are massive. Look at that. All the way up here. The tallest trees. That's impressive, and look at these steps. It's like a little throne. You could have imagined yourself just sitting right here, taking in notes of who's coming in over there into your little town. Just sit here. You could imagine some like the guard of the of the city would be uh, would be sitting here. Wow! Don't know what this is. Big rock. Oh, look at that! Wow! That is. Massive, isn't it? 
That is really, really impressive stuff. Whoa. Wow. Look here. There's someone up there already, it seems like. Let's go and get it. A look from a different angle. Listen to those birds as well. Pristine look, yeah. Phenomenal. Wow. It's kind of like a hand sticking up there. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to symbolize, but it's kind of what it makes me think of anyways. That is something else. And that's not even the big one, if I'm, if I'm correct. This is one of the smaller ones. So yeah, let's keep hunting. There you are. Here we go. It seems like I was mistaken in my awe just before when I said that this pyramid here is not the biggest one. So I decided it was time to go up and see. These steps are so small. Look at this. Look at my foot there. <laughs> it doesn't even fit in. Per step. They're so small. And those Mayans back in the day were tiny people as well. Like, what's going on with that? Who decided that? To make tall steps for small people. Seems crazy. Oh, oh my god. Oh no no, I was right. Oh my god. What? Are you mental? Fucking hell, look at that! Over there. What? Oh my god. Days. Can you see it? What the hell? Oh my god. That is incredible. <laughs> wow. I am stunned. What the hell? Let's just get up here. Get a better view. Oh my god. Look at that. That is the main pyramid over there. I was correct. I think we've got some exploring to do here. Let's get going. Wow. There's another one over there in that peak right out here. There's another peak, another pyramid sticking up. Wow, to think that there's no one here. Let's just get down here. There's no one here and it's this impressive. This beats, this beats anything that Uxmal or Chichen Itza has to offer. And listen to those birds in the background as well. I'm gonna take this weird step down here. Uh, uh, wow. Oh my God. 
That's ridiculous. They might have had small feet, but bloody hell they could build those mines. Wow, okay. Let's get over there. That is a view and a half, I can tell you that much. I think that it goes back that far. Six, 600 before Christ and 200 and finished by the time of 200 before Christ. Oh my God, let's get going. Bloody hell. <laughs> Those stamps are so tiny. Look at that. Oh, okay. I have to go sideways now. All right, enough chatter. I think I have to focus on these stairs. Just take a look through the square here. Welcome to Galagmul. Here we go, here's the master pyramid, look at that, that is impressive, those trees over there as well, with the hanging, almost like hair, it seems to be hanging, falling down, so what route should we attack this from, I'm saying bang of the middle probably. Look at these, there you have a look at the steps, incredible, that is something else, wow, let's take a look through things here. Before we go, oh. here used to be an entrance of some sort. Some cold air coming in, coming out of there. Sorry, I'm not sure what it is. Would have been cool to see though. I can imagine it's maybe a with that position, could be a throne, I'm not sure. Let's keep going. Okay, we have platform number one. There's, what is that supposed to look like? Maybe a, a lion's, a jaguar's pole or something? I'm not sure. Let's see the other side, if there's something as well, before we keep going. Yeah, it's the same, same, same kind of thing, over yeah, there, and up here, two of those as well. All right, we march on, march on. Here is a, another pillar representing the feminine, the feminine sex, the females of Karagmul. Power to the females. Without you, they wouldn't have left, they wouldn't have lived so long. Oh my God. Uh, yet again, tiny, tiny steps. And another view and a half out here. Oh, look at that. Oh my God, 
Yeah, as I say, we had this area, Kalakmul, is the northernmost of the Mayan cities, of the old Mayan cities. Tikal is on the southern side of, of all these settlements and cities. Um, and Tikal is what we call, is in what's called Guatemala today. Uh, it's what's known as Guatemala today. And this area used to be a heavily important area for the Mayans. Wow. <sighs> Impressive stuff. And they used to have their trade and stuff going through here. I imagine there's the other one where we were sat before over there. That's the other structure. We're not all the way up yet. There's the, the back final bit that we saw. So they used to have the fights, I imagine, similarly to how the Vikings fought back in the day. Smaller um, communities against each other, smaller kingdoms against each other. So it was the Tikal and Kalakmul and El Mirador. And at the end, Kalakmul ended up victorious and became the king of the area, became the leader of the area. That was in the year 625 that they finally defeated the pesky Guatemalans and got what they wanted, this settlement here, where they're standing as opposed to Chichen Itza is unknown to me, but I'll say if you can you should definitely make it here, it's gonna be quite a longer drive than going to Uxmal or Chichen Itza. But wow, if you can look at this and tell me that this is not worth it, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Then you might as well just turn off the video at this point. Wow, this is why we do it. Bloody hell, look at that. And we have the hole from pyramid one, the biggest pyramid. We have the entrance pyramid over there. All of the jungle, just above us, or below us, sorry, underneath us. And we have that other one that I could see from over there, over here, to this side. Looks pretty cool as well, eh? I'm just gonna sit down, take in all the views, and then we're gonna pick it up afterwards. Shoot a couple photos, I think. All right. Karak move, put it on your list. down from the Kalakmul main pyramid. That was one hell of a walk. What a view. Now we're on, on to the next one. 
onto the other one, the second small, the second biggest one. Look at those plants again. Like a tree with hair. Incredible. All right, enough chatter and looking at trees. More climbing, let's go. Wow. Okay, here's the next, the second big pyramid that we could see from the top of the other one. Take a look at that. I mean, wow. It's like something out of Indiana Jones or something. That is incredibly beautiful. Look at that. As the sun's coming down, you see those steps. You can't even see if you just look straight ahead, you can't even see the top. Beautiful. This is structure number two. Wow. And it says here 40 meters. Can you see? 40 meters. 40 meters right there. All right. Wow, let's give it a go. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is ridiculous. And those dead trees on there as well. Wow. Let's get up there. Am I filming? I am. Oh. I just missed a good section. <laughs> oh wow. My legs are completely toast. But we've just stopped now. Whoa, oh yeah, yeah. Look at this stuff. Here we have the whole city. Oh my god, pounding, pounding hard there. But yeah, there we have the whole city. The big volcano, uh, not volcano, um, pyramid over there. And then the small one, the first one we climbed up. But I'd almost say, basically, I'd, I'd actually say the little one over there has the best view. Because you overlook that one and slightly this one over here as well. But specifically the big Kalakmul pyramid. Wow, I can hardly speak. Can hardly get my breath together. <laughs> it's so hot here, so it's probably it's about 40 degrees at this point. Under the canopy of the trees, it's all right, but up here, exposed to the sun, it's hot. It is well hot. But look at that view just once again. Just take it in. There's the other pyramids and then across the city itself, across the plains, out to the hills and the mountains. Small hill, or big hills, small mountains out there. It's a stunning view. But yeah, as I say, it's, it's a good six, seven hour drive, seven hour drive to get to the village that's closest to this park itself, this national park itself, or reserve itself. <sighs> it's actually 
another one and a half hours in from the into the reserve from that village so yeah it takes a while to get here it's not as easy to get to as Uxmal or Chichen Itza from Merida or from Cancun or something but it is so worth it out there somewhere out here in the back behind me we have the border into Guatemala Guatemala is another like out of a 50k or so 50 70k out that way we have Guatemala that gives you an idea of where we are we're right in that borderland down south of Mexico on the Yucatan Peninsula into Campeche just before we hit Guatemala so yeah I'll highly 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 recommend it I cannot stress it enough it's like coming into Indiana Jones you get the sound of the birds sometimes you might get lucky and see a monkey or two here as well and you walk under the canopy you see these massive pyramids this stand up tall have that sun coming through with the canopy it looks all mystical and all that just as they would film it if it'd been Indiana Jones so yeah put it on your list put in the effort take that long drive if you're staying in Merida or if you're staying in Cancun or Tulum or one of those places on the other side of the peninsula get here get your ass here get going there's no one here you can really really get to explore I highly recommend it <sighs> with that said I'm just gonna sit down take in the views rest my legs for a bit before we explore a bit more of what's left here to see I think there's still more to come so yeah we'll go on the hand for that last bit of the village which open what is open to us now so we're standing on it here we have the structures over there on the floor this is I guess residential area basically like houses that would have been here you can imagine these being the walls up to the roof the roof missing on that then we have a little small pyramid that I'm stood on here with these which would again would have had its roof up here it said this was an area where there was murals but as you can see here some of the rocks are newer uh, now so I'd imagine what it says they have conserved them taken them away these murals probably because of dickheads coming here and destroying such murals but yeah unfortunately that means we can't see those murals now today as we as we explore here but that would basically then it's called la acropolis basically means that, that would probably then have been the uh, the painters area the artist area where they would have been painting for uh, yeah art and all that sort of stuff so yeah with that said I think I am absolutely hungry the Sun is blasting down at this point it's late after or late morning now so it's gone hot hot as hell and I'll just check this one a little bit out over here show you that and then as I say with that said I think we're gonna end the video here I'm gonna head for lunch get myself a beer a big lunch big piece of chicken some fish whatever I can find tacos tacos would be great hit the like button click subscribe and leave a comment 
What's your favorite Mexican beer? And I'll see you when I see you.